Hi, my name is Carlos Venkis and my mom Naringa, who's a former judge and a parliament member of Lithuania, has been detained two weeks ago and is currently in Chicago's federal prison. The Lithuanian government is seeking her extradition for 39 criminal acts that she's accused of. I would like to share the story of my family and also ask to sign the petition to the President of the United States. The story starts in 2008 when my cousin, who was four at the time, after coming back from a weekend visit from her mother, told my grandma and her father that her mother's friends are licking her. Soon the girl opened up more and told uh, about everything that was going on in the mother's house. She told stories about three men, Jonas, Andrus, and Idas. While my uncle wasn't able to find out who Idas was, Andrus turned out to be a businessman who's also an advisor to the Speaker of the Parliament, and Jonas turned out to be a district court judge. But no charges were filed. And one day, my uncle disappeared. The double murder of a woman and a high-profile judge in Lithuania is believed to have fled the country. Police say Drasius Kedish killed his victims because he believed they molested his four-year-old daughter. That day, my cousin was taken from the daycare and put in a psychiatric hospital, while the second girl, who according to my cousin was also abused and whose mother was shot, was taken by her father and they moved away to Germany where they were never seen again. The prosecutors announced on national TV that there were DNA evidence found on the murder weapon that confirmed that my uncle committed the crime. Much later, it was announced that the prosecutors made a mistake and no DNA was found. Around a week later after the killings, my mom managed to get the custody of my cousin and she was finally able to come home. The case was finally started and it was concluded that the prosecutors neglected to investigate my cousin's claims and many of the officials involved lost their jobs, including the general prosecutor. My mom, who was a judge at the time, started to publicly talk about corruption and bribery in the Lithuanian courts. The media constantly attacked my family, writing articles and creating shows based purely on speculation and absolutely no evidence. These journalists received no consequences, while the journalists that supported my mom often were fined or their shows even prohibited to air. In April, the prosecutors announced that my uncle Dresus is hiding in Spain. The next day, his body was found by the lake in Conus, Lithuania. The investigators ruled that his death was an accident, a statement that many Lithuanians have trouble believing. I'm gonna put up a picture of my uncle after death. The image is shocking, so if you're under the age of 18, or you just don't think you can look at it, please look away for the next five seconds. This is what a man who chokes while drinking looks like. In May of that year, the court announced that my cousin has to live with her mother, the mother that she's testifying against. The court ruled in favor of the mother, even though the psychologist determined that the girl has a very strong connection with her father, the grandparents, and her aunt Naringa. And the reason that she doesn't want to go to live with her mother is because three men would come to her mother's house. The girl refused to go, and thousands of Lithuanians surrounded our house and would not let the police pass. In June, Andrus Usas fell off his four-wheeler, took off his helmet, and drowned in a puddle. On March 23, 2012, the police surrounded the house and tried to take my cousin by force.
On May 17th, 240 police officers came to our house and carried my cousin away screaming.
haven't seen my cousin ever since. After that day, there were massive protests in Lithuania and abroad. The media started to speculate that my mom could potentially run against the president in two years. Just a few days after the protest, there were five charges brought against my mom. The parliament removed my mother's legal immunity, even though the prosecutors refused to provide all evidence. After the removal of her legal immunity, my mother resigned, while the chairman of the commission to investigate her challenged her to run against them. My mom found a new political party, which won seven seats in the parliament while having almost zero funding. Her campaign promised to reform the judicial and political system in Lithuania with stricter punishments for corruption, rape, and pedophilia. Soon after the election, the general prosecutor asked the parliament to remove my mom's legal immunity once again, but this time there was one additional crime. The liberals, the conservatives, and the social democrats all announced that they're gonna vote in favor of removing my mom's legal immunity even before any evidence was presented and before the ruling of the parliamentary commission. The parliament voted that the prosecutor has to provide the secret recording from the day that my cousin was taken. The prosecutor refused to do so, later showing only 12 seconds of the video. In 2013, my mother and I fled to the United States and asked for political asylum. But two weeks ago, the federal marshals showed up at our house. The Lithuanian government is seeking my mom's extradition back to Lithuania before the political asylum case is over. The number of crimes that my mom is accused of grew to 39, including contempt of the court, assault, illegal surveillance, psychological molestation, public statements to infringe the severity of Lithuania, and many others. My grandparents, my aunts and uncles, my neighbors, my mom's supporters, and many of her party members are all facing charges, and some of them have already been sentenced. A famous Lithuanian doctor that testified that Andrus Usas came to her office to remove a birthmark from his sex organ is now facing charges of false testimony. Smanet dėl labai keista šeima. Vyras, stambus, dvi moteriškės, viena jaunutė, kita vyresnė ir margaitė. Kotis turi dėmę ant lyties organų ir prašė, kad aš ją pašalinčiau. Išsėmė savo lyties organą, sėdint abiems moteriškėms ir per metrą nuo mane sėdint margaitė. My mother will never receive a fair trial in Lithuania because the journalists and the politicians already agreed that she's going to be sentenced. The chairman of the Supreme Court of Lithuania called my mom an abscess in the judicial and political system of Lithuania. How can she receive a fair trial when the highest court officials in Lithuania are making public statements like this? I understand that this might sound like a conspiracy theory, but over 10 people connected to this case have died. A few years ago, my grandparents' car was hit by a truck. And during one of my mom's campaign rallies, all five bolts of a car wheel unscrewed themselves at the same time. If my mom is sent back to Lithuania, she will not receive a fair trial, and there is a serious threat to her life. Please sign the petition that's in the description of this video. I know this story doesn't affect you personally, but please don't ignore it. I would like to end this video with one of my favorite quotes. What you do for yourself dies with you when you leave this world. What you do for others lives on forever.